Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Guard. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. We'll talk about it after the show, but right now let's just get into the show. Last time we had a long but packed episode, uh, you should watch it if you haven't watched it already, about uh, how to measure um, your PPM, your pH, your, your alkalinity, how to measure all the things you can measure in your nectar grow and what to do based on those measurements. And I thought it was effective and helpful, and you know I hope you did too, but the one I'm gonna show you today is a little bit about the great responsibility that comes with the great power of knowing all those measurements, of not doing too much with that. Not going too far. So uh, it's a good clip. I'd like you to watch it. I'll talk to you. Yeah. You know, yeah, See what doing. yeah, so you're not trying to, to get the perfect meter. Where you're trying to get some sort of like, I can correlate this meter to real life. So even if it's wrong, but you understand the, the, the ratio between the two or the connection between the two, that's, it. that's what you're looking for. No, and that's like knowing yeah. your plant, learning your plant, watching your plant, listening to your plant. Your meters are just references to what that plant is looking like yeah. today. Yeah. And so, so if you're taking notes and you're paying attention and you know that every day that's a super gorgeous and green, well shoot, freaking homeboy out on the East Coast, yeah. who's an engineer, uh -huh. Engineers, they're an interesting bunch. They're the thinkers. Yeah. Well, it's 451 parts per million. Better flush. Ah, oh, it's 200. <laughs> Better feed four times. You know, it really is this oh, yeah, constant that's... roller coaster because it's perfection. Engineers yes. are perfect. They're all numerical. They're down to the precision points. So plants are like us. You know, yeah. we really kind of can swing both ways pretty hard before we die. The Boeing spaceship. Sorry, I'm going off. The Boeing, their their spaceship, the, the the Elon's one went fine. There's the reason there's fucked up, is because it had to like adjust its course, and instead of doing it like once every second, it was doing it a hundred times a second, and it used up all its fuel. Yeah. When if it just like been, you know, it was it just was going nuts on that, and that's kind of the same thing of overcorrecting or not overcorrecting. Correcting too no, much. It's, it's overcorrecting because yeah. then you overcorrect and you're going back. You're playing ping pong with yourself, and it's a bad game. It's a yeah. roller coaster ride to hell. So it's one of those where give it space yeah. and give it time. Yeah. If you do like something, kids. give it a couple days to react. If yeah. Don't sit there and go, "Well, I did this, tested tomorrow. This is what happened. I did this again." No, give it a day or two. If it, you're doing corrections, give it a few days. Let it kind of. Mm -hmm. Get in there, acclimate, let the plant access it, see what's going to happen, but don't overshoot back and forth, back and forth. You're, you do more harm, like pH correcting. If you go start at 5 and you get up to 7 by accident, then you go down to 5.9 with a down and you come back it up. Was the, you're negating the everything in this yeah. place because you're trying to get the perfect pH. You're better off feeding one time at 8.0 than feeding... A perfect 6.5, but having to adjust with five ounces of pH up and down to get sure. to that. Yeah. Because you're canceling everything in the same process. So, you know, as Jack Herrera once told me, just sit there and listen to your plants. Okay, what do you think? Informative, entertaining, helpful, agree? I get it. Disagree? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the O. CG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.